Hey everybody, a little late tonight, but if you're watching the replay, make sure you follow, not just like. That way it'll uh, let you know when we have a new video or when we go live, it'll notify you. Happy Friday, everybody. Gonna give everybody a little bit of time to get on. And I've got one so far. <laughs> Everybody's like, why are you late? Surprise. Hey, Sherry. All right, hold on. Do it a little bit towards me. That way I can see it. Okay, now I can turn my comments off on here. Hey, y'all. Y'all thought I was abandoning you again tonight, didn't you? Hey, Sharon from Ohio. First two on here from Ohio. Woohoo, love your hat. Thank you. Hey, Diane, North Dakota, Mississippi, Helen from Georgia. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Hey, 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 Kathy. All right, let's see. All right, y'all are going to kill me when I tell you one thing I want to do to one of my crafts tonight or one of my little supplies, but I'm going to cut this because I love... When we had the heart at um, Valentine's, we had the little grapevine hearts. This one right behind me, right there. But I wish they would have made like a bunny head with those. It would have been perfect. But I got this at Hobby Lobby, and I got it a while ago. Um, Easter, Easter stuff was on sale. It's regular $10, so I got it for 5 Or it might have been 40% off, so I might have paid $6 for it. I can't remember. You know how sometimes they do 40 and sometimes they do 50 Hey, Cindy from Indiana, Wisconsin. Hey, Karen, Sandy. Ooh, Sandy from Illinois. From Oklahoma. My gosh, we got some. North Carolina, Tennessee. I'm glad you were just got dinner done. Good, Kathy. Kentucky, two from Kentucky, back to back. Um... Yes, I was not at home. I got my COVID test this morning and it was negative. So, you know, I had to see people. <laughs> um, so, all right. Um, I'm using, or we'll kind of make a, just, a, just a little lean-to. You know, my favorite things are my lean-tos. Um, but I'm going to put a hanger on this. You know, we haven't done a beaded hanger forever, and I just kind of, sometimes I just miss some things. This is the little, the big tag. They made some of these um, uh, 4th of July last year around this size. Um, this was the Valentine's Day. I want to say maybe fall or Thanksgiving might have had one. I don't remember seeing any at Christmas. So sometimes grab like two or three of these. Um, if you see them for one holiday and not another one, because, you know, tags you can do for any kind of holiday, any kind of season. Um, it's just one of those good crafts to have. I'm going to go ahead and take this little bow off, even though we're going to use the back side, but that way it'll just, it won't be on there. <laughs> okay. So, I think I'm going to try to do a, um add a color to this instead of just, you know, my jute or my, um, there it is over there. Okay. And it's this moss color. And since it's Easter, we're going to put pink with it and I'm going to do different color beads. I got this brighter bead garland from Hobby Lobby, probably paid $6 for, I think it was like 40% off when I went. So you get all these pretty beads already painted for you. And then I got the more pastel tones, same thing, at Hobby Lobby. Um, but I'm just gonna use the pinks on them. Now, the brighter color has two different shades of pink, and then the pastel has this lighter. So we're gonna use those three shades of pink, um, and then we're gonna put green on our tag. But, I missed all of y'all last night. Iowa, another Ohio. Did I see North Carolina in there? Working on my shamrock today for my door. All right, I've got a shamrock like this that, um, like I told you, I don't do a lot of St. Patrick's Day, but I'm probably gonna do a wreath. I think that'll be really pretty. Um, okay, so y'all are gonna kill me. And I'm hoping it doesn't fall apart. 
on me, but I'm gonna detach the head of this bunny from the body part. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to clip a couple of the gray. I'm not gonna cut, cut it up. So if I wanted to put it back together, I could. Um, but I'm gonna save this because you know, it's still a good little wreath, grapevine wreath, but I tried to put one on like a, a wreath for my door. And I, even though I love these shapes, it tends to drown in a wreath. Like unless you put like cloth behind each one, it is, tends to get lost, the shapes in your wreath after you put bows and everything on it. That's why I, I didn't feel so bad about cutting it up. I don't know y'all want to kill me for doing this. Thank you for sprinkling this. Virginia, another North Carolina, Alabama. All right. I'm trying to do this where it won't all completely come undone on me. So I'm trying to think that is right here. And like I said, I'm just taking the head part off of, or just disconnecting it, I should say. It's got a little, now I can see the wire. Okay. It's like they spray painted the wire, the color of the grapevine. And so, wasn't seeing the whole thing. Oh, there's a big wire in here. Oh, okay, I see. They have like a wire form inside of here. So I don't know if I can cut this. I'm gonna ask Chris. Chris, will you come cut this for me? Maybe I can pop it loose that they... No, give me a second. I'm sorry, I wanted y'all to see this together. See how this piece right here is kind of soldered? to a piece, so it's actually a wire in there. It's not the thing. When you get that apart, and we can um, painting this, because what I'm gonna do is paint it this moss color, because I think this light, light green, is gonna go really good with our different shades of pink. You know, I'm scared of color, so I have to like slowly walk into it. Do you see it? I've got the big cutters, but I don't think I have them over here. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, and that bottom stayed together. Okay, so y'all be a little careful taking that apart. I don't know if you can see the two little wires right here. So actually there is a wire form that they have spray painted the color of this grapevine and it blends, blends in with it. So you kind of think it's all grapevine, but it's not. Let me put this down. I don't want it to poke me when I'm trying to craft with it. Okay, there we go. And we just curled those under. So, I wish the Dollar Tree would have made these like they did that, but, you know, maybe next year. Maybe they'll see how well the hearts did this year, and they'll do that next year. North Carolina, Sandy from Alabama, Michigan, like your hat, had the pleasure of going to the Masters about 20 years ago. Uh, Trish, the Masters are about 25 minutes down the road from us. We're right below Augusta, Georgia, so we, I say we get to go all the time. All I like to do is do shopping there. They like to go and walk the course. It's one of those to me. You see it one time, and it's beautiful, but... I just like to go and do the shopping. But um, today, you know, I Chris got me a convertible about, how long have I had it now? A year and a half ago? Mm -hmm. So today, I, when I was able to venture out, I took my test this morning. My COVID test was negative. And um, so uh, it was so beautiful here, almost 80 degrees. So I put my top down. So when I do that with all this hair, I have to wear a hat. So when we got home, I told him, I said, I'm just gonna have to wear this hat on here. <laughs> there was no taking it off. I would have what we call hat head. What everybody should call it, cause that's what it is. Okay, I'm just gonna paint this really quick. Let me do this down a little bit further. But I hope all of your Fridays have been as well as mine. As soon as I got my negative test this morning, I was like, Woohoo! I'm not contagious anymore. I can see people. So, I went and got my oil changed in my car, which is something I had to do. And um, while that was happening, I walked down a couple of little shops we have because we're moving Neely into her 
Big girl lives on her own, now has a big girl job, own place tomorrow. So I wanted to buy her a little knickknacks, you know. When they're just 24, the only thing they know is I need a couch for my living room and something to put my television on. So I bought her a few little knickknacks that she said that she liked. I FaceTimed her while I was in the store. There's some things about technology that you gotta admit is great. Um, thank you. This is called Moss, and it comes in the Waverly, um, and I did get this from Walmart. They run around like $6 and some change for it, and it's, it's eight ounces, and it goes a long way. I always say I do love the Dixie Bell paint. That's going to run you around $10 for this eight ounces, so it's going to run you about maybe 2 or $3 more, but it goes further. Um, I don't know. It's just a smoother paint. But if um, this is all you can, that's close to you can get, um, it, the Waverly works. You just don't get as many colors when you um, buy the Waverly. Like when you go in there, I think they only have like, in mine, they only have like two green colors. This one and more of a shamrocky looking green. Um, where if you go a place that sells like Dixie Belle or Wise Owl Paint, they will probably have eight shades of green. Uh, from you to choose from. You just get a few more colors. But like we talked the other day, before you just ditch your acrylic paints, the little apple barrel paints, or what is it, folk art paint, folk art, go on Google and Google how to make your own chalk paint because there's something called Plaster of Paris, which is like the chalky powder that you can go in any hardware store, Walmart, anywhere that has a hardware section. You can get it in Lowe's too. Your local hardware store, I'm sure, sells it. And there's a formula that you'll have to Google because I forget. And I say that I was going to look it up for you and I forgot. And it's something like two, ounce, two tablespoons of powder for every like ounce of paint or something like that. And you can make your own chalk paint. That way you can use up all that acrylic paint that maybe you thought um, you'd never use. I need to do that because I love this chalk paint. It's just like a real good matte finish. It, um, it dries faster. I just really like painting with it. And I have a ton of acrylic paint, especially if you have some of those, you know, in the acrylic paints, you have so many colors and you might've found that perfect color for your craft. And all you have to do is just mix that, um, plaster of Paris with, like I said, it's a real chalky powder stuff. And it, it, you make your own um, chalk paint. And it works because I have done it before. Hey there, checking in from Missouri. All right, Harrisonville. That's awesome. Can you taste now? Shannon, not fully, but if it's a strong flavor, like tonight when I was out, I told you we went to see friends. Um, I had two Bloody Marys and... It's like the older I get, I love spicy food, but the older I get, I can't take it. It's just something about, you know, it burns my mouth up. And I could taste it. As long as I put kind of the spicy in there and like I put some, ba you know, I like, I like to put like the whole smorgasbord in your Bloody Marys. I had um, bacon in it and some horseradish and I could taste that. But if it's a real, like I ate cuties, um, like the little tiny oranges or, you know, whatever they are. Hey, Lynn from Keysville. I can taste. If it's a strong flavor, I can taste it. But if it's something real mild, like it's kind of still sad with sweets, like chocolate, kind of, um, or like ice cream. It, it's really, if it's a real s subtle taste, I can't taste it. Um, but today I got me some... Um, there's a store in Waynesboro that they have homemade pimento cheese, and I could taste it. You know, it's not strong, but, you know, I can taste it pretty good. So, not completely, but I have hopes that it won't stay gone like some people were saying. Theirs have been gone since Christmas. That would be awful. But, I'm not complaining because Chris and I obviously had, you know, because he never even got a... We never went through fevers, any kind of thing like that. Buffy never had any symptoms. So if we had like, you know, COVID, we got, we were very lucky with it. We got like a real mild, um, y'all, my hat looks kind of all cattywampus. We got a, evidently a real mild, you know, case. 
because you know we, we're both overweight so it ain't like we're like real healthy people now <laughs> so <laughs> i don't want to go so far as to say that okay good coats on it and because we use the back and we're not trying to cover up anything i think i got a really good coat so i'm gonna dry and then um no, our, I went to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Who said Dollar Tree? Here she comes. I went. And mine, it has some things out, but you know, our, ours is just kind of... But tomorrow I go to Athens to help Neely move in. Athens, Georgia. So I'm going to a, a TJ Maxx that she has a good homes, which is I've never been to, close to where she is. So, um... Maybe I could stop by their Dollar Tree, you know, out of town and see if they have a really good one. I don't know. I make my chalk paint with baking soda. Diane, that sounds like a good thing, too. I think anything that gives it that chalky, you know, texture. I don't know. I didn't know you were sick. Yes, Belinda. Um, let's see. It's probably been... I know it's been 10 days since we were tested, but it's been 15 days since my first symptom. I got, like... I have bad sinuses, and I just, it was like any other time. It didn't feel any different. My sinuses kind of stopped up, and we had a friend that we had seen a couple weeks before, had tested positive, so before Neely, my oldest, came home, we decided we'd go get tested, and we were both positive, so um, we took our medicine. That's the only thing I ever had was kind of sinus pressure. Um, Chris never got any symptoms. Buffy never did either, but we tried to stay pretty active when we were home because they say, you know, really don't sit around and kind of try to, st don't sleep on your stump. I mean, don't sleep on your back, things like, it was just like a few little things and we tried to do everything they told us. I got my second shot today, so glad. Yes, we take Mimi a week from tomorrow and she gets her second shot. She's Chris's 98 year old grandmother that, um, you know, Chris is like her caregiver. She gets to stay in her own home. She's still like in great health. And, you know, we, but they have to go over there a lot. So we took her to get her shot uh, three weeks ago tomorrow. So she's got another week. I may paint this back, y'all, just to kind of keep it, keeping it real. But my mother had her second shot, and I think she said everything went fine with it. And um, she didn't, I don't even, I think she said maybe her arm was a little sore. You know, some people are saying their arms are sore. Um, gosh, I was in a uh, post office, and there were two ladies talking. One was talking to somebody that was behind me. And evidently, she works at a facility that administrated the shot. And the, the lady asked her, you know, what were some of the symptoms with the second shot? The lady said some people had been reporting they had diarrhea. But, um, you know, besides that, they were, I guess in our area, they were doing really well with it. So, I'm sure everybody's different. Everybody's symptoms with COVID seem to be different. So, you just have to see how, you know, you are. Because Mimi's 98. I had some friends say their arms were really sore, like they'd had a tetanus shot when they got their first shot. Mimi's 98, and the next day, she had forgotten which arm she had it in. It, she said it neither one of her arms were bothering her. So, I guess it just maybe just depends on, you know, how you react. So, I'd say know your own body, but, you know, it's, it's a weird thing. I have both shots. Sore arm is all. Feel good. Good job. Yes, Dollar Tree does carry paint, but is that Walmart has much better selection? Yes. I got my first shot Tuesday. My arm was a little sore for a couple of days, but that's it. Now hearing horror stories about second one. Listen, at first, I think I heard people say they, you know, like some of the first symptoms, you know, they ran a little fever with it, you know, like... But, like I said, then I heard in the post office somebody got diarrhea. But, um, and then I've heard some people say that getting their first one, or getting their second one was just like getting their first one. So, I mean, it's, it's almost like a crapshoot, you know. I don't know. From Michigan. Hey, and did I see somebody asked about home goods and a question mark? Hello from Texas. Trish, Home Goods. Yeah, it's like this store. Now, I don't know if it's just in the South. Now, it's kind of like at home. 
home goods I, I don't know if they're just in the south i've never you know i never look that up mostly simon's nose we have one in augusta and they have one in athens um too and everybody talks about how awesome it is and i've never been so i may maybe i'll do a little video for you. Go live if you want to see kind of the things they have. I see people, craft shows, doing that all the time. And I've never done it because I feel like other people will start looking at me like, why is this lady talking to her phone in here? Um, so maybe tomorrow when I go to their home goods, if it seems pretty good, I'll get on there. Oh, yeah. Well, you, ha you have one, so you've been to it. Okay. It's different from at home. Now, note we have them in Ohio. Yeah, so they must be a chain that's everywhere. Girl, you will love it. Okay, I hope so. Uh, everybody's telling me, oh, you'll love it. So, good. Hey, Brenda. All right, so we've gotten this down pretty good, and I think I've run my mouth long enough that it's almost dry. So, we'll see. Hopefully, it's good. Sometimes, I don't have the best luck shopping. Y'all, I have, like, good luck sometimes in the Dollar Trees when I go to different ones. It's the crap shoot. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it is, you know, either you, you get it or you don't. Um, because everybody told me that I would love Carolina pottery, what I told you, but remember, those are only about three or four stores in the South. Um, and I do love it. Um, it was awesome. It's like, really, I'll tell you this, it's a wreath maker's dream. It has everything you could possibly think of to make wreaths. Every color, grapevine, like they've painted grapevines, every color, um, um, the ribbon, oh my gosh, and the picks is endless. I mean, it's just, and they got a lot of tobacco baskets and stuff like that. And they do sell, they sell a lot of uh, lawn things too, lawn decorations like ch chairs and pots and stuff. But that kind of stuff kind of seems way too expensive. Um, but they're really good priced on their ribbon and things like that. And the, gosh, the ribbon. It's, it's like, like I said, you could go in there and spend all day. It puts my ribbon wall to shame. And that would just be one aisle. They'll have one aisle of just yellow ribbon. <laughs> but it's really good. They said on the news tonight that out of all the shots given so far, only 6% of them have some kind of symptoms, but they don't really say what they are. Yeah, I mean, I think it just varies, Patty. What's so weird about it is... I had sinus problem. I always have sinuses twice a year. I always have them this time of the year when it goes from hot to cold. And in the fall, I'm gonna, it's going to do it again. Um, and then um, when we went in there, she was telling Chris, some people are coming in saying their body's really sore. Like when you do squats and your thighs are really sore, like they've worked out. And that's symptoms for COVID is having sore muscles. And then you have, of course, you have like flu symptoms that are, are COVID. And then some people were saying that they've had stomach issues like diarrhea, um, IBS, and it would get flare up. And the next thing you know, they're testing positive. So, I mean, it's like if you sneeze and you're worried about it, go get checked out. If you, if you I mean, I, I don't know. It's like every kind of ailment you could think of, like if you have upset Hold on, what's the song? Upset something, diarrhea. That song, listen, if you got it all, it's every symptom. So I'm more than positive that the shot has got to be the same thing. Everybody's going to have a different symptoms. And, and a lot of stuff's in your head. You know, like Neely thought that she might have had COVID like this past summer. And the two days it took for her to get her test back, by the end she was full-fledged sick. You know, thought she was dying and her test came back negative and then her symptoms dried up like that day so you, i'm sure your head scares you a lot too which i mean you know, people are dying from it so it's scary that was for after they got the shots yeah i mean i i, I don't know it's weird we have a home goods in phoenix okay so it's not as good since covid um, yeah, probably, and no stores are really good since COVID, because the shipping's all messed up, and, and then on top of all that, this, um, blizzard that lower poor Texas, and, um, I mean, everybody, I think, up north hates the snow, and, and they get sick of it, but you know how to deal with it. 
I, evidently people in Texas kind of like us Georgians we don't they didn't know how to deal with it which I mean I wouldn't either tomorrow if I had a blizzard come through here you know I'd be hunkered down for weeks because I mean I wouldn't even know how to drive to the end of my driveway in snow uh, they said on the news tonight that out of all the shops, okay, give it home goods looks just like our home sense. I love that store. Now I've never heard of home sense. We have a home goods in Wisconsin. It's household items. Okay. Well, you know, I, I, I wonder if they have a TJ Maxx and, um, and Athens too. Okay. We're going to put our little head on here. but I'm loving these colors too, but we're gonna add pink to it. And we're gonna add our little, okay. Now I have these little um, that we used on our candlesticks that we're gonna put around the edge and make it look like, I'm sure it has a name for that like wood, wood stuff that has the little like beads all the way around the edges. But when I was in there the other day, they have these half pearls that are actually a little bit higher than this. But with the pearls, you don't get as many and I only have like three packs. So I was trying to see if I had three packs. All right, I got enough to get down the side, but I don't think I have enough to get down. Yeah, and those right there we found out were not good. They're connected. Now these we have not tried on anything yet. I just got them to have them in my um, pack for right now, which probably wouldn't be bad. I would still paint them now. I don't like these colors, but you know, you can always paint over them like the color of your board but I think that's a little busy for what I want. So I think we're just gonna stick to our original little dots and maybe I'll grab a couple more of these because I really think these are, are good too. It's not as many in this pack. This says 60, this only has 27. But these actually are raised a lot higher than these are. All right, so. All right, home goods. We have a home goods in Wisconsin. All right, hold on, I'm missing your comment. Love the Christmas tree shop. Oh, me too. We have one of those in Augusta. Do y'all have a place called the Christmas tree shop? It's just like Christmas store. Love it. Yeah, I love it though. Our Christmas tree shop, it doesn't just have Christmas. It has everything in it. And I do always hit that when I go up there. They have really good deals on napkins, paper plates, things like that. And their ornament section was actually kind of good in ours this year. Yes, love the Christmas shop. Shop to Hobby Lobby tonight. They have marked down a lot of their ribbons, 70% off. Brought way too much. <laughs> Shelly, I would have probably done the same thing. And my excuse would have been 75% off. Can't be, I'm saving us money. <laughs> but this was after they got, okay, hold on. I think TJ Maxx owns Home Goods. Oh, so it's kind of like going to a TJ Maxx because that's one of my favorite stores. That Marshall's. Um, my hubby came home yesterday. He was the hospital for more than a week with COVID pneumonia. I'm so sorry, Judy. And I heard that's what is turning in for a lot of people this time of the year is, you know, they're almost over COVID. The next thing you know, I've had pneumonia when I was in my twenties really bad. So I know how awful that is. Cause you know, when you break your arm, you can keep your arm still, you know, just and let it heal. When you know something with your lungs, I mean, you breathe every second. So not a whole lot of being still you can do. Our Dollar Tree have to be there the day they put out new products or you miss out on everything. Patty, I think that's, I don't know if it's because people are at home. Uh, look at that box. Listen, girl, I have used just about all the boxes. I mean, I, especially at first I thought I'm not going to like the little short ones, y'all. Somebody brought me, remember I told you a ton of these boxes? It was Gina. She's so sweet. And this was like a short one, and I thought, but I do have things that I only have a few of. But then I got the other, I got them packed full, girl. It was like the bed. They stack really well, too. We have very cold winters and lots of snow, but about five months I used to be... Don't like it. Laugh out loud. Yes. Well, at least you got at least consistency. Here we are. A, it was 80 degrees in Georgia today. Beautiful outside. No humidity at least. So maybe my sinuses will stay under control. But I've got my uh, Claritin out and my honey. And y'all, if you've ever heard somebody say 
the, you know, a spoonful of your honey every day. Now, if you can't find local honey, I found that over the counter, you know, like the kind you buy in a grocery store, it works, you know, it does work. But a spoonful of honey helps my sinus. It helps really anybody that has allergies. Um, and it works. Like, like Mimi, it helps her. She's like in her 90s and she's like me. Her sinuses will act up when the weather changes. And, um, and the honey really works for her. Because, you know, it has the soothing effect. Instead of you putting like Clorets or whatever that spray crap is for your throat. That's just so gross. Um, and it has antioxidants in it that'll actually help heal your throat if it's sore. Um, and I'm not a big honey fan, so I'm not telling you this because, like, oh, I love honey because it really is, you know, I have to, when I do my tablespoon, it's like, you know, I'm taking medicine. It's not my, my favorite thing, just raw, plain honey. But a tablespoon every day, it, it, it's worth it for me. And I don't have to do it very long. And luckily, we have a good bakery here that sells a lot of uh, local honeys and uh, blueberries and stuff like that. So, but I have gotten like the honey that comes in a little bear thing from the store before. And at least the soothing of my throat. Because y'all, your sinuses drain when you go to sleep at night, Dr. Cynthia. <laughs> So they drain in your sleep. So when you wake up some morning, that's why your throat's really scratchy when you wake up in the morning because your sinuses are draining your sleep. So some mornings, my sinuses have been so bad in the past that I will really think that I have strep throat. But then like 20, 30 minutes later when I drink, you know, it, it, it goes away. But that, that honey in the morning just makes it feel better. Uh, it's cold here and still got snow. Sharon, I'm so sorry. I had a rubber stamper and it was in Hobby Lobby today. They had lots of rubber stampers marked down. So I hit the jackpot. None were over $2. Oh my gosh. That's all. And those rubber stampers you can use to distress the edge of your, um, I have never tried it, but I've seen people do it and it just looks so easy. My right arm, I can't use. Love the hubby petting, but hate not being able to do it myself. Aww. What you making? I'm making a tag, and we took our bunny head off of our, and we're going to put it on the front, but we're going to introduce pinks. Now, these are all kind of multiple colors, and y'all, this may take forever. So, you know, it's Friday night. I don't have anything to do. If you want to, like, give me a few minutes, y'all might come back in five minutes, and I'm still putting these out because I've gotten to wear... You know, it's better when you put them right up next to each other. It gives you that effect when we're going to paint them like they're beads on it. If you kind of space them out, it's not terrible, but it doesn't look as good as when you put them right beside each other. What part of Georgia are you from? Uh, right below Augusta. It's about, if you're looking at the state, it's about halfway down. We're on the border of the state for South Carolina on the right-hand side. Augusta's like, when Georgia does that little hump, hold on, little hump, we're right on that hump. <laughs> um, it's mud season. Uh, yeah, I'm sure when the snow starts to go away, it's, you know, I was like, is that like flood time too? Like it's, all right, let me cut a little bit of this off. Um... You know, that snow's got to go somewhere, right? I mean, it's not that white, fluffy snow that everybody thinks, oh, it's just this pretty powder, <laughs> which I'm one of those people. Um, it's probably got to turn into, like, get dirty. See, in, like, Georgia, it wouldn't even be white. It would be like that red clay. We know all about mud and gross stuff down here. What are you making on the net? I am making a, a Easter-like tag, but it's like an oversized tag. It was this, and we painted it our moss color in the Waverly family. And right now, I'm making that wooden bead border with stickers from Dollar Tree. They run in a pack like this. You get 60 in a pack. But I'm not going to keep on these colors. I'm actually going to paint it so it looks like, you know, it's part of, like, the wooden beads of the board. 
And yes, it's gonna take me a skinny minute, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't do anything ahead of time. So we're just sitting here chit-chatting while I put this on. In New York too, Trish, let's see. I am in Waycross, Georgia. Family is from Thompson, Georgia. Now, Thompson, Georgia is not but about maybe 40 minutes from us, a little north. So, we're not too far from Thompson. I'm trying to think of, Chris could tell me how far we are from Waycross. I don't know. He knows where everything is in Georgia. I love peanut butter, honey sandwiches, or on biscuits too, sweet. Uh by itself. Yeah, there's a lot of people that like love like the honeycomb, like the homemade, like the honey. We have like about two or three people in our area that raise bees and honey and stuff. And I mean, I don't know, what do you say? You raise bees or you make honey? I don't know. I don't know what you actually say, but uh, they make honey. And um, so you can buy jars with actually pieces of the cone in it if you wanted to. Now I tried cone when I was a little kid one time. I can remember, I guess I was maybe a teenager and it wasn't terrible, it just wasn't my cup of tea. So I'm like, you know, if it's not, if it's something people crave, you know, I'll save it for you. I won't take it. But y'all look, I was over wearing my t-shirts today with my, with my peach on the back of it that I got at Pecan Row here in Waynesboro. Uh, we have two different friends in Ackworth, Georgia. I may have spelled wrong. I don't know where that is. Hey, Kim. What's going on? Nothing. I was a little late tonight. I didn't get on here until probably after 8 o'clock. And we were actually somewhere. We ate supper. And, um, and I was like, Shh. I got it. I told him last night I couldn't do anything. I got to get home and do my craft. And tomorrow I'm helping Neely move. So after traveling, now this is this is your kids for you now. I don't know if y'all have kids, and it's not teenagers because mine are in their early twenties. That they want you to do stuff for them, but they got to do it on their time. So you know, her birthday was this past Tuesday. So she was like. Okay, well, um, listen, you're going to meet, because they're moving. I'm just meeting them at the house in my own car and helping them maybe decorate and put some stuff out. I'm, ne I'm never moving again, ever. Funeral home is the next people that are going to move me because I'm not moving. Moving, uh, I hate moving. Um, and she says, all right, well, you need to be there by lunch because, you know, I got friends coming in at 4 o'clock and y'all need to be gone. <laughs> I'm like... Who asks people to move and then says when you got to be gone and when you're going to have to be here because you got to be on some kind of their schedule. I'm thinking when I ask when I ask somebody to do something for me, I don't give them time frames where, you know, you got to do it at this time. I'm thinking you, you need to do it around our time because we're moving you. And I'm thinking I'm going to TJ Maxx. I might buy something for your, you know, apartment. But now I'm thinking if I got to go home, I'll just take that TJ Maxx on home with me. <laughs> I'm in uh, New, hold on, N North Dakota. We have no more snow. It was 51 degrees here today. Yes, spring is on its way. Oh my gosh, I bet that felt wonderful. So where was the person that said they still had snow and it was still cold? I met some great people in Waynesboro a few years ago. Re Rosemary, we got some good folks here. We just simple old country folk, all up in each other's business. I was thinking about that today as I was walking in the shops because I was getting my oil changed. So I just could not sit there and get my oil changed. You know, just looking at the walls, sitting there in that place. I was like, you know, I'm going to walk down. You know, it was a couple blocks over. Everybody probably thought my car had broke down in town because I was just walking down with my purse on the side of the road. So um, I went to a couple of shops. And, you know, people open the door for you. Hey, you know afternoon you know I dip the head at you and it just you know it makes you i love our small town and y'all you know what i thought last time i glued these down and i have put just about every one of them on here and have not glued the first one so i'm gonna hope in the paint does the gluing for us so if they stop part popping off ugh. How, how do i 
get to the, almost the end and realize I had not put any glue on here? I'm in, okay, yeah, okay, great. Um, I met some great people. I have an aunt and uncle that lived in Thomaston, Georgia. All right, Jenny, listen, Chris's family, his mom's family is from Thomaston, Georgia. Um, her last name was Gower. Um, so, if you tell me your aunt and uncle's name, um, I may can ask uh, Chris's aunt Peggy or his mom if they knew them. Hey, from Kentucky. If you're just jumping on, we are sticking stickers right now. Um, and I've just used... My, I had a little pack with maybe about six or seven on it, and then I've used the one pack of 60. We hadn't opened our other pack yet. So, we are going to, um, it's not gonna be this color, y'all. These are just the color of the stickers. We're gonna paint these the moss color, and, um, that we've already painted our board. And then we're gonna put a little bit of antiquing on it just to give it that. Um, but it's really pretty when you paint this that, uh, we call it plaster white and put white antiquing on it or you could just put the antiquing on it first. But this is not wood, it's, well, I say it. No, I think this actually is wood. Yes, it's like a little piece of Luan wood. So, you know, you can stain it, but if you use that, like, pressed, um, uh, what is that stuff called? Like a cardboard press, you would actually have to really paint it more, and your color truffle looks really like wood um, in the Waverly chalk paint. It's called truffle. Truffle, and there's one other one. Thaw, no, it's fawn that looks more like jute. Truffle is close, but we, we, we tested that out one night. It's fawn that's actually a closer to, you know, that um, good stain. Well, okay, y'all, I'm going to push these down real good because remember I just said I didn't glue them. Last time we did this, I glued it down with a hot glue gun because, I mean, they're pretty sticky, but you don't ever know how that would. And maybe with this paint is going to work on this uh, chalk paint better than if you, it was something slick. I would think it's going to come off. So I'm just sitting here chit-chatting about my day because taking putting these stickers on is taking me a hot minute. I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah, and we got that white fluffy snow that you are talking of. Oh, Carol, I bet so. My nephew lives in Denver, and um, he's always talking about, you know, like in the city, yeah, it gets gross, but they have a lot of skiing and stuff there, and he talks about how pretty it is. Well, I say he doesn't talk a lot because he doesn't talk a lot, period. But um, he's quiet. But, uh, but yeah, Neely and them have went out to see him. Utah, I bet that is beautiful there. See, I want to see my own country. I think when I was young, I used to say all these places I wanted to see all over the world, but now I just want to see my own country before I die. You know, just get like a, a just a, what do you call it? Like a little motor home and just drive out across the country. You know, I mean, I, I bet the rest of the world's beautiful. I know it is, but we got a pretty awesome country here. And I saw somebody posted some pictures I said, oh, good, of Niagara Falls right now and how like the water's kind of semi-freezing so it looks like a hot chocolate with marshmallows in it if it was, you know, brown, but it's not. But it's got all these like fluffy things in it. Looks pretty cool. So that's something I want to see is Niagara Falls. I want to see Grand Canyon. I want to see snow so thick and white and fluffy like you're talking about in Utah City. You know, I want to step in snow one time in my life and it come up to my waist. And I'm pretty tall. Just one time. You know, I don't have to live in it. He has his own moon. Okay, I don't understand that. Hey, from Ohio. Uh, Canada. Another Canada. They are deceased now. Okay, I don't understand. You know what? Hold on. Okay, Jenny, you lost me. I don't know what you're talking about. Something has, he has his own moon. All right. 
We're almost there. Okay. Whew. Oh, this has been a chore. But it went faster than I thought it was going to go. So, y'all didn't have anything to do on a Friday night, did you? Get you a glass of wine or get you some iced tea. Or if you're still cold, get you some hot chocolate. And, you know, pull up a chair and listen to my little whiny southern draw voice. Did y'all like my post I sent you the other day about my lunch? When I said... What did I say about ain't? Ain't, I ain't wasting, I can't remember what I said, but I had to throw that ain't in there and y'all, because I love that. Y'all, hey y'all, it's sin. Let's see, hold on, I'm gonna take this one I cut off and see if I do a whole one for the other side. Will it just fill it up? There we go. Okay, so we didn't even need that little cut one. So just about the only one, I had to like nick one right here on the end and you can hardly see it in the camera, so. But yes, Gina, she sent me all these, they're like label boxes. They have to have a lot of labels for their business, so she has a lot of these little boxes. So recycling at its best, they make the perfect little but these are the short ones. She brought me some that are, that are thicker that I'm able to put all kind of things in. All right, so I'm gonna get my moss paint back out. This is what we did it on. Oops. Waverly, just from Walmart. Y'all, does anywhere else sell wa Waverly paint or is it just a Walmart product? Because you know, sometimes you can buy uh, apple barrel paint from other stores and stuff like that. And you can buy that folk art, which I know they sell at Michael's in Walmart. So do they sell this somewhere else? On a tower it calls to wreck one stormy night. That's what we were going to do. Went and looked at campers today. Sandy would listen. When you come through Georgia, pick me up. I'll pull away with a stranger in a heartbeat. <laughs> okay, so see, we're just gonna... And because it's got this color... I mean, air, I can see it just a little bit in some of them. We may have to do two coats on them, and it's wet, so it's going to look like a different color, but see how it's going to give us that beaded look? Now, don't make my mistake. If you go pick these, these little dots up from the Dollar Tree, I would say the safest bet is to glue these down. I mean, because you'd hate to finish your project in like one start chipping off, which could happen. Um, I would put, I think on our candlesticks that we made, our Easter candlesticks, I did glue them down. Now this paint may give me a little bit of glue, but you know it's not gonna be underneath it, so they still could pop off and that would just suck. But, you know, let me make the mistakes and then y'all make the crafts that y'all have been putting on Sins Crafting Bin. I mean, Sins Crafters that are just awesome. And I love it when y'all make the stuff that we've made. Have y'all seen the little Easter? Where he's, you know, I had a little banner that said spring and she put the eggs across it. And it, it just, it, I love it when y'all make it, especially when you change it a little bit. Because, you know, that's just what crafters need. They need that little inspiration to, you know, change up stuff. We cry. I, I have only found it in Walmart. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've never, but I've never looked at the paints anywhere else. So that's why I didn't want to say did somewhere else sell it because I don't, like when I go in Hobby Lobby and stuff like that, I don't buy paints there. So I really couldn't tell you. I know I bought like paint, like to paint, like because Buffy, you know, she's a good artist. But I've never bought chalk paint there. I've only found it at Walmart. I can't even find that on our Walmart. It's really small. Oops, we craft a lot. I just made a tag today and use moss and plaster. That, that's my colors, Patty. I love plaster. It's my favorite. But I'm trying to put a little bit of color in here. So I'm going to add the pink to this because that's kind of my favorite two 
springy colors together or any kind of pinks and greens together. All right, now I'm going to uh, dry this just a little bit because some of the color on some of them is coming through. And, you know, that's those bright orange and yellow and all that. And I definitely don't want those coming through. So I'm going to put another coat on it. Stop my uh, Kentucky and get me. I know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking when you get your... Um, your camper, there's going to be a lot of people wanting to go with you. We'll do. We'll craft on the road, Sandy. Yes, we will. We'll craft. And um, I want to go. Where is it like when you, gosh, it was a show. And instead of, they drove home and there's, it's like maybe out in Kentucky or something where they just have all these huge farmer's markets. And they just look like, oh my gosh, it's the stuff there. I, I, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up. But it looks unbelievable. Um, I don't want to heat these up too much because it's too stickers. And I definitely don't want it to make it full up or anything like that. So I'm trying to move it pretty fast. It may take me a minute. So if I freeze or anything, the last time I kind of froze is when I had this going. Yeah, there's a lot. I'd have to make a list and probably look on maybe each state's website to see um, things I'd want to see. And there's some things I just want to see it and say I saw it to myself and nobody else I'm trying to, like the Gold Gate Bridge. I think I'd like to see it. I don't know about going across it. <laughs> probably isn't a big deal, but um yeah, I just want to see that. Maybe ride up and down those hills you see in the movies, and that would be probably about all I'd want to do there. Um, I want to see those huge trees. Is it in California that they have, like, those huge trees? What are they called? Like, sequoia trees or something like that. They're just humongous. There's things I just want to see, and once I see it, you know, I'll be fine. You can probably get the Waverly paint on Amazon too. Yes, probably. We have flea markets in Kentucky. Is that, it was on some road trip show and they stopped and they was like world famous, um, uh, flea, you know, like a farmer's market type flea moves all in like one thing. That'd be pretty. I will pick everyone up and come to your house and have craft party. We sure can do that too. But you know, after you see like the Georgia red clay and maybe we hit a deer in our vehicle, that'll be about all you'll see here. <laughs> Cause even the masters down the road, it's not like they're gonna let you go in and take a tour. Um, we are the bird dog capital of the world. Um, but uh, that's even kind of small now. Um, we can go out there and see the Savannah River borders, you know, is in our county. That's pretty, pretty awesome. But then after that, you know, Savannah. Savannah would be pretty, if, I, if you could come to any place in Georgia, I would say go to Savannah. The old squares, the history, the tour. I have taken probably four or five tours now. And I and it, I learned something different on every one of them, and it's you st I still probably have not seen everything. It's awesome. Redwoods, okay. Where you search Amazon for Waverly Paint, it brings up folk art brand. Oh, okay, because you probably have to put chalk paint. I mean, you never know. This Waverly may have like an exclusive contract with um, Walmart that they can only sell it. You know, so sometimes they have that. All right, I think I've got it all covered now. Hey, what you making? Jill, we are making a tag, but we put these plastic wooden dots, I mean, plastic dots around the edge to give it that little beaded. Y'all, please somebody tell me you know, like the, the inspiration for this is like the wooden pieces, decorative pieces, serving pieces that you can buy that have the, the little wood beads around the edges. That's our inspiration for this. My daughter has an RV and travels every free minute. She just 
got back from the Keys and lives and leaves Sunday for another part of Florida. The Keys now I have been to, and I love it. All of them. They're all beautiful. Yes, Jeannie, Savannah is a beautiful place. Carriage rides are fun. Yes, everything you do there is fun. Have you ever been up to Mackinac, Mackinac Bridge or up to Island? No, no. Where is that, Sue? It, where is it close to? Love Savannah, and especially Tybee, my happy place. Yes, D Debbie, do you ever go there? My sister's fiance has a house there. Lynn, she was on here earlier from Keysville. Um, and they go, and we were supposed to go a couple of weeks ago, but on Valentine's weekend. Um, but Buffy decided to go out of town with her boyfriend to Savannah. And um, we didn't have anybody to watch Mimi. Chris is like her his grandmother's caregiver, so we couldn't go out of town. But Tybee was where we were going. Lavette, Savannah, uh, Strong Thurman Lake. Okay, Judy, we don't live, to, I don't live, but maybe about 45 minutes from, um, I don't call it Strong Thurman Lake. We call it Clark's Hill in Georgia. <laughs> See Savannah, Georgia, Shan Shannon, it's beautiful. So did I, Debbie. Um, in Michigan, yes, it's beautiful. We love, we have, love it. Uh, all right. So, okay, our Waverly paint. Let me try to dry it just a little bit more because I, I didn't really clunk it, but it can get clunk. Is clunk a word? Clunk. All right, and I'm going to hold this up so you can see. It really turned out good, and it really looks like we want it to. It's kind of shiny around the edges because it's still wet, but let me dry it enough because if I put the antiquing on it when it's still wet, it's not going to age it. It's going to just smear it kind of the paint my favorite place to go hello for sue from virginia i know what talking with the uh, beaded look i trim any woodwork we kind of yes we went to tybee love to fish for crabs so much fun love to go back yes we um we like to go to tybee to go to wet willies <laughs> i do anything that's really cold and, you know, it's like those those smoothie drink things, but yes, I, we love it no matter. We, they they big on ride bicycles there, so we're not like big help nuts as you can see. But it's really fun to go, and they 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 care, they have a ton of bicycles at their house because you know everybody just loves to do it. So and they have bicycle rental places too. And so, and then they have a bingo house at Tybee that's really fun, but because of COVID and the restrictions, they haven't been able to open their um, bingo back up yet. So hopefully this summer they will be able to. Because it's really fun. First time I went, I won bingo and Liam was like, I keep coming here and I haven't won and you come the first night. I went to Tiny Love to Fish. Uh, bridge. It's in Michigan. Oh, it's beautiful. Pfft, girl, I have never been above Tennessee. Especially, and then anywhere straight above Georgia, no. And then um, I've only ever been to the Alabama board. Now, I did go to New Orleans one time. I flew into there. and um, But besides that, I have been in maybe a mile into Alabama. Isn't that sad that I have not seen my own country I know all about Tennessee, North and South Dakota, North and South Dakota, North and South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, and yeah, that's really it. I don't know anything about Alabama. I mean, I don't know anything as far as like I've never been, and there's no excuse for it. All right, y'all, I'm trying to debate if I want to rub i think maybe i'm gonna put it on with a paintbrush and then rub it a little bit with my fingers uh we camp there uh hank creek oh on um clark's hill uh uh where do we go i'll have to ask chris when he comes in um clark's hill where's the place we would say we'd go the most sounds like we need a road trip we sure do i mean even if I, I kind of want to see the Great Lakes, y'all. I mean, I'm sure for some people that's like, oh, yeah. But, I mean, I want to see that. Um, in Upper um, P 
Peninsula of Michigan, a little waterfall, beautiful. Oh, see, I, I just want to see that. Yeah, I'd love to do a crossword puzzles and e Lake Erie is always on there, and so I always do self like i'm gonna see lake erie for it's over with i'm telling y'all I don't, I don't care if i have to just i tell my family that all the time they think i'm sh just straight crazy i want to even if i have to just drive to the grand canyon look at it and drive home i'm gonna see parts of my own country i, I don't i don't care if i'm 70 years old and i sell my house can't take it with me i'm gonna see what i want to see on my own country Speaking of bicycles on, is I saying it right, Mackinac uh, Island, there are no cars. You get around by bikes or horse-drawn carriage. Oh, my gosh. This is something I have to write down. I guess I'm going to have to like write me some kind of like traveling bucket list for the United States. And not that I don't like any other countries. I'm just thinking... You know, before you say, I want to see the world, I, I guess I just need to be, I want to, I got to see my own country first. Especially when you watch movies like National Treasure and it's got all kind of cute things. Like I want to go down like, you know, old states that have history like where they signed the independence uh declaration you, you know just the cons i, I want to see all that kind of stuff I, i'm really nerdy on history stuff to y'all if you can't tell okay so there we are I'm going to do this a little bit because looking in the camera, it almost looks like I've gotten maybe like wooden, like they're wooden beads, but I don't want it. I just want it to be a little aged. I didn't want that much on it. Okay, so when I'm rubbing it, it's taking a little bit of that off, so now it looks more distressed. Than, see how the top looks really just brown? As I'm rubbing it, this antiquing, you know, it's got wax in it. So it takes it a little bit longer to dry. It's not like the paint, but I don't want to put too much pressure on them because you remember I didn't glue them, so I don't want them to uh, pop off. All right, y'all, and I put my ribbon up that I wanted. Darn it, okay, we can make a little Y'all looking, I, I just said, don't do it too hard. All right. Made the little, messed the little sticky up on that. I did it too hard on that one. And they were like, we're coming up. That's what you want to avoid. Is them coming up. Okay. You won't like the Great Lakes, wind chill at all, no mountains to block the wind off. We moved here from south about froze. That <laughs> loud I learned to drive school bus at Lake in December. Oh my gosh. Listen, now the cold won't bother me, especially wind cold. I mean, you know how long it's been since I worn a winter jacket? <laughs> I'm going to maybe leave my antiquing out in case. Because remember, we just talked about this the other day. I hate to, like, distress and antique the edges and the, the middle just be, like, perfect. And let's do a little bit of this so it'll bring out some of that chalk. And I'm not going to hit any of those. Um, I hate that. I'm going to be so careful with them. If you glue them down, you won't have to worry like I'm worrying. Okay. So it gives it a little scratch. Now see, I, I'm gonna end up putting something in the center because I just don't want it to be so, um, you know, not scratched up. I mean, not distressed in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. That's driving me nuts now. 
I'm from Canada. My husband and I are fortunate to have traveled. I've seen some beautiful places. There's still so much I want to see. Just need some travel friends now. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want it to be alone. I mean, I love Chris and we love each other, but he's not nerdy about certain things. And the stuff he's nerdy about are not the stuff. Like, he'll want to go somewhere. And I probably would like to see something like the Baseball Hall of Fame. But, you know, he'd want to spend all day there. Mm-mm. I might have to find something in that city else here. I'll be like, oh yeah, baseball hall of fame, great. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do all that. But he he wouldn't go on a, a a tour in Savannah with me for anything. He would go, no, I'm not. Let's go. We just walk around and look at stuff. You know, I want to know. Um, and you learn so many. Uh, Lake Superior is beautiful, but wicked and cold. Yeah, I'm kind of dying. I need to go somewhere where it's so cold that I'm like, okay, I hate the cold. I would have never thought to use those on the edge. Look so awesome. Yeah. Um, like I said, the pearl, and we're going to put this on here. The pearl actually would stand up a whole lot more on here. You don't get as many, and they're not as big around but I think would look even better, but I didn't have enough to go around such a big piece, but especially a smaller project, you definitely could do. Okay, now he's a little bendy, probably from us bending him, and I'm gonna have to, but y'all, I wanna put a really cute little pink bow on him, and I have, you know, out of that ribbon wall I have, I forgot to get any ribbon, so I'm thinking I have several different me running late, running my mouth and drinking my Bloody Marys. I have some different pink ribbons, I mean, uh, that I can make some rag and we'll make like a maybe a little messy bow, you know, out of rag. Cause you can do it with napkins, ribbons. Let me see if I got another pink. I've got one more here. And that's some kind of orange. I really don't want that. See y'all, and say if you didn't want to use the pink, how awesome would that be? So if you like, like the cheetah stuff on there or something like that, just play around. We're going to stick with the pinks because that's what I brought out, but I'm almost wishing that I would have grabbed something for that cheetah. I really like that. Uh, Maui is one of my favorite places. Yeah, Hawaii would be my ultimate goal. Embarrassing is what you were doing is, hold on, embarrassing is what you were doing is called. Huh? Uh, oh my gosh, what did I do that was embarrassing? Hold on, what? Hold on, my, my mouse is stuck. Move, okay, hold on. Mahala, I didn't understand. Yes, yeah, she is. I would have never thought to use it looks so awesome. Yes, indeed. Okay. Wyoming, Montana is beautiful. Their weather was great in July when we were there a couple of years ago. It was like the 40s and 50s in the morning, but no humidity during the day. Yes. Now, I could dig going to a place where there's no humidity. I think I, Georgia wouldn't be so bad in the wintertime if we didn't have the humidity. Because, you know, you can't get in the shade. You can't get anywhere when there's humidity. You just have to just bear, bear with it. Okay. I'm going to try to just, um, Hawaii is on my bucket list. Spell check, dang, embossing. Okay, embossing around the edge. Okay, I'm sorry. I was like, did I do something embarrassing? Which, you know, I could. Don't think I can't. I've ever tried to sing for y'all. All right, I want to try to just glue it around here, you know, just so if his ears have a little bit of, you know, kind of dimension and they're not laying down, that'll be good. But if it, to give it, you know, stability, maybe I'll just put some right here. It looks like it's touching down right there and right here, and then we'll go around his head. Do not drip on my hand. That will crush me. I've done so good lately not burning myself. Okay. Oh, that looked like it got it. We touched down good. Hawaii's on my boat. Yes, Karen. 
I mean, isn't it like a $10,000 trip to go there for like a week? I mean, number one, I am so tight <laughs> with my money, but I really want to see it. But, but yeah, that's just something Chris and I are just going to, we just have to eat that because I'm, I'm going to see it white, even if I have to, because I told him to even go if something happened to me. Take my life insurance and go there, him and the girls. At least somebody's going to see it. Okay. Even though they're different shades of um, pinks. Okay, so I've got two of those. Um, I'm still like all of them because remember we're going to use this really light pastel, which kind of brings that in. And then the two pinks that are in the brighter colors. Y'all, okay, the second one. I think we almost got the same three colors that we're going to use the same three beads. There's no way that can happen. No way. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna rag some pieces and we'll do like our little bow. I think it would be good to bring some jute in it, but you know, here I am, I'm so organized. I put all my ribbon up and I'm like, oh, I, can, I got that ribbon wall. It's so easy just to walk in there, but I didn't. I had everything out I needed. I'm probably just gonna do two long pieces because I do have a little container that I keep my extra, because we can cut those up. History Church, History Church, it, it was bombed, they walls up, graves above ground, dang, can't remember the name. I enjoy it, but was so sad at the same time. Oh, I hated the long flight to Hawaii. I love going to Maine in the fall. Yeah, like, I want to go to, is it Maine that you go to to eat, like, the best lobster? Definitely want to go up north and, like, do stuff like that. And they were, and somebody was like, well, you can get that kind of stuff, like, by, well, I'm like, no, I want to eat it there. Um, you know, I, yeah, I want to, yeah. I want to, I've had New York cheesecake in New York once. Um... But I was so young, I didn't get to see anything. Um, I want to ride a train. I want to ride a train. They said they have train rides that go from Savannah all the way to New York. That would be a good place, good way to see things. Um, I love going to Maine in the fall. I love you seeing you make my day, and I miss you. And the ladies, when you are not on craft and sing, girl, sing. I not want to hear me sing. It sounds like my cats are screaming around here. It is not what now. I have a good time. And I've had a couple Bloody Marys tonight, but no, you do not want me to sing. I was just teasing. Um, why it's worth every penny trip of a lifetime. Yes. I mean, it just, I, I want to see that. I want to go and see what like lava rocks look like. Like what's it look like when a, when a country all right, I didn't, well, no, I got one down here. I'm trying to go ahead and get the edge that already is a little ruffled so I don't have to, or rags, I don't have to, um, you know, waste a strip. Yeah, I want to go see Pearl Harbor. Like, I told you, I'm, I'm nerdy on, you know, wanting to learn the history of something. We just watched the movie Midway. Pretty cool. Um, um, so things like that, you know, I definitely want to go and relax and be lazy like anybody else and sit on the beach in Hawaii and drink a drink that's got more fruit in it than anything else. But I do, I, I want to learn the history of things. Like I, I want to go to Alaska. We watched the show, uh, Life Below Zero up there with all those people, Sue, that lives somewhere in the middle of nowhere, some camp. I want to see Alaska. I want to fly fish. I've never fly fished. Can you imagine being in Alaska on one of those rivers with them like waders up to here and you're like doing the little fly, fly fishing thing? You know, like I said, I don't have to do it a lot. I'm sure it's a lot of work to walk out there with Russian rivers with that stuff on, but I want to do it. Um, yeah, I'm missing all your great comments. I need to do a show one night where we just run our mouths and talk, which is about what we're doing tonight. The Badlands, uh, of, I don't know, Badlands of South Dakota are amazing. Oh God, I bet they are. 
Um, it sure is. Uh, yes, they are beautiful. Blue, uh, black sand beaches are beautiful. I've seen pictures of black sand. And the, isn't it really hard to like get out of the water in black sand? It's fun to ride Amtrak and get a sleeper car. Um, I've been to Hawaii twice and absolutely love it. Like a field of black rock lava. Pearl Harbor was so interesting. Enjoyed it so much. Yes, Shannon. I, I, there's no way I could go there without I, going to, you know, Pearl Harbor. The history, the, um, just how sad it is, you know, that people still entomb there. I mean, that's, that's part of my history of my country. I want to know. I want to see it. You know what I mean? I, 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 I don't think, I mean, it's not that I don't think going other countries is great. Um, but, I mean, if anything, before you say, I want to see the world, see your own country. And then say, I'm going to see the world. Because I do want to go to the Greek Isles where, you know, they have those houses, those like little square white houses. And you just have to go straight up. And they do that cliff diving or jumping, and the water's just unbelievably beautiful. I bet Alaska is beautiful. Alaska's on your bucket list, too. Cool. All righty, then. Uh, Amtrak goes to Miami, to Maine. It takes 18 hours to go from Florence, South Carolina, to Fort Lauderdale. That's a long time, Judy. Because you can drive it faster than that. Um, yes, I watched their show. Yes, I love it. Alaska, The Last Frontier is a great show. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Pearl Harbor is surreal. Oh, I bet you it is. One of my favorite shows. Um, I, I don't think I've ever watched it. Chris is big on Life Below Zero. He loves like, uh, what is it? Um, The Curse, no. Oak Island, like, is it The Curse of Oak Island? Where they're like trying to find that treasure and and uh alone, you know, the shows that they send up there, uh, where they have to like they just drop them off in the middle of nowhere and they have to like live on their own, and the last person is the person that wins. We're just gonna cut these all up and see how many we're gonna use. I think the more we have, the bigger the bow will be and the cooler it'll be. I hate it that I can't throw some brown in here. You know me, you know, I've got to have that dull, plain color, but I don't have anything. I mean, I got my jute tie, but I don't want to. And I don't even have um, any kind of materials like that. Next time I go, in, go into a store, I'm going to look for some material that has jute colors in it. Because I bet, you know, these little bows all the time. I forget that, you know, these little bows you can make just like you do with the ribbon. Okay. So, I'm going to vary the color so it'll look mixed up. Oh, my God. My husband watches that. Yes. they He loves, Chris loves all pickers. You know, the two guys that drive, which I think, are they on the History or Travel Channel? History and Travel Channel are his favorite channels. Yes, you are right. There are a lot of beautiful places in the United States. They're really, I mean, can you imagine? Every state has its beauty. Um, has something that, you know, makes them unique. Whether they're, you know, some of like the, the older states. Their beachfront on the south. Um, all right, let me make me some individual piles so I can just vary the little things. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you can see it pretty good. All right, hold on. Let me don't, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a crisscross of this color. And I'm going to do a crisscross with the little, this. And I'm going to do this color. And then this. It's really not, it's kind of in between a pink and a peach. this color again. Um, this color. And this peachy color. Yeah, okay. I didn't say, how did I end up with
And I really like the light pink. I want it to be on top. So that's the first one I put at the bottom. So I feel the same way about Canada. After four years, my son was finally well enough that I could take a holiday. I traveled the first time to Easter Canada. It is just amazing. The history and buildings were like visiting a place in time. I watched the same. Yes. I mean, there's even places like in that in Savannah that are just, they're just so old cobblestone down there. And I mean, just the history you learn. They say that Charleston, South Carolina's um, tours are just as good. Lindsay, my friend, tells me that all the time and I have not gotten a chance to take a tour. See y'all, look, if you do this and add like the pink and me adding any kind, like if you got some, that ribbon I have that kind of looks like a, a net, that would have been really pretty. So jute would be really pretty on that. So grab you some to add in here. Okay. I think since I want this light color to be on the front, cause that's really the color that I wanted. I was just gonna use that color, but it's the prettiest pink to me is that like baby colored pink. I've been a lot of different states, but I think Kentucky is beautiful. Buffy just went to Kentucky. Some of her boyfriend's family lives there. They raise flowers, cut flowers. I guess you would say they have a nursery there, but she just said they had fields of flowers. And she talked about how beautiful it was. And, you know, I guess with like Kentucky Derby or whatever, you know, and I was like, you know, just not thinking about... Um, you know, raising horses. She said, just going down the road, the fences that line these beautiful green fields, you know, like when you, if you think about horse stables and those pretty like white or black fences that they'll have now, she said it was unbelievably beautiful. She was like, mommy, you gotta go. And I was like, I want to. And you know, Chris and I are the homebodiest people you ever meet. So it's surprising that we would want to go, but I don't, I don't want to just go somewhere like it and fly there. I, I really want to do the camper thing. I know it'll take longer, but it just, then we're just not on anybody else's time schedule. We'll be on our time schedule. And y'all, I think this is really cute. And with the rag, you don't have to worry about, you know, what your ends look like and you know, if you dovetail them or keep them straight, that's really, really cute. I think it is. And I almost don't want to, was going to put it down there, but I think it'd be pretty. I don't know. I'll let y'all decide because I can't, I, looking at it, it looks really cute down here. And I think this will be kind of too plain up there. Okay. And maybe I'm going to put the bunny a little bit higher. So I like down here, but I'm thinking it looks better up here. Yeah, I think it's going to, because that's just too open right there. And I really don't want to put words on it. It seems like that's all I do here lately is put words on stuff. Let me put, I'm going to put a couple of little pieces, y'all, just to throw a little bit different color in there. But that turned out really cute. So if you don't have ribbon out like me, just grab some of your material. I don't use enough different materials. If I ever get where I'm using one thing too much, y'all have to tell me. Hey, I finally caught you live. I've been watching for two weeks now. I'm hooked. I li live in Maryland. Oh my gosh, Gay, I'm so glad that you were able to catch us. Was born in Kentucky, still have so much family. Going to Bermuda next spring. Can't wait to see the pink sand beaches. And you will love it. If you've never seen clear beach where you feel like you're in a swimming pool, that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna look down and you'll be able to see your feet like you're in a swimming pool. It's like the best thing ever. Um, going, uh, hold on, down in the bottom. I, I know, Stephanie, I like it down the bottom, but I put the, I, I won't have anything right here. And I didn't bring anything out that I feel like I can put on it. Like I still got these carrots from last night. Y'all, I hate to just put another, no, I don't, I, I, we just did that. Let's see. We have the carrots. I'm trying to think, let me look. It says Easter, or we have the other one that just says happy, which I wouldn't want any words on it. Maybe we put the carrot.
Uh, let's see. We'll see when we finish if we maybe want to add. Okay. Let's see. Down in the bottom, that's gonna be so cute. I go to Charleston, North Carolina every couple of months with the hubby to the VA hospital. Yes, Charleston, they say, have awesome tours too, carriage ride tours. I like it at the top. <laughs> no, just the bow. Bow at the bottom, no carrot. Flower at the bottom. Okay, I'm getting flowers at the bottom, y'all, but the top is just gonna be so plain and I can't move this. Let me see if I can heat it back up. See, I think if I wouldn't have put this so low to the bottom, hold on, because it's just gonna be so plain at the top. But let me see, y'all taught me the trick of heating this back up. Yep, see that popped up pretty good. Come on. Now that one kind of left a little ugly place, but we can maybe fix it. It's coming up. If I move it up, it wouldn't. And I probably should have thought a little bit more about where I was putting it. Okay. I've got a little glue ring, but I think I, when I distress it, I may can fix that. All right, let's see. I know you're hot. I feel you, hold on. I have my scraper right here. I may have to touch it up the paint, but it does look better at the bottom, and that was my plan. But I put this up too tall. I mean, too far on the bottom. Oh, and look, y'all, I see it. Oh, it came off on my bunny. Look, two of my little stickers came off on my bunny. the good thing about chalk paint is it being so matte even though that shiny I think once I get a little bit on there um, it won't be, have that shiny on there all right let me take my two little beads off of here put them back where they go all right a little hold up but we're back on track now y'all keeping me straight Yes, I do like it better at the bottom. Okay. I want it to be like a little on the side. Do y'all like it a little on the side? I mean, I could do it perfect, but I don't know. All right, look. We got it straight up with this, or my original plan was hold it a little on the side and put the little right here, having the little wampus, you know, not perfect. Let's see. Like so. <laughs> Try a bow on the bunny's head. Uh, put the bow between his ears. Your blower is whistling just on the side to the side. Yes, yes, side works well perfect on the side to the side. Let his ear hang it off. Like, yeah, I like it when he's not like so perfect. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, 
I see ya, I see ya. I bent it a little bit. I needed to bend it back, getting it up. Okay. And then we'll put our, let me shake it up, get it back chunky. A little to the side, okay. All right, before y'all talk me into anything else, I'm gluing it down. <laughs> All right, side, I like with one ear hanging out. Yeah, it's just a little, you know, so it's not so perfect. And the good thing about it is y'all see how that came up. So, like, if I wanted to take it back apart, do something else. But, okay, I think that's perfect. There we go. So cute, so cute, so cute. All right, so let me take my little finger, put some of this paint on that one place on his, make that shiny part not shiny. The, the, I'm hoping the chalk paint will make it, you know, not have that like little, and plus, I'm gonna remember I'm gonna put just a little bit of distressing in different places, so I'm sure that'll take away from it too. All right, all right. Won't let you do hearts on thumbs up. Won't let me do hearts. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't always know Shannon's laughing. Perfect look. Very cute. Cute as can be. I know him so cute. Well, she it's a girl. We're making her paint. I'm making her a little pinky paint. I don't want it to be too much. Well, and I keep taking off way too much. Let's see. Okay. See like that a little bit on the side. Not too much. Oops, got some spider webs in there. No, I don't like that. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> it looks too. Mm. I should have done it before I put this on it. Okay. Okay, it's getting back a little bit. Okay, it's a little wet, but I think it just looked too. Should do a dream and craft show, yes. You do, you come up with your ideas. I don't know, I've been really wanting to use this, but it was just, it was, I used, uh, not this, but, um, oh my gosh, I think it was a pumpkin in the fall. And it really even wasn't this big, but I put it on a wreath. And by the time I put all the bows, you know, different picks, the flowers, the everything on it, the pumpkin just kind of got lost in it. So either you put like fabric behind it so you keep the shape or um, 
and it was too big for this because I was like, well, you know, I've got that big tag. I'll put it on there. So, I mean, if it would have fit the whole body, I would have put it on there. But it just, I mean, it was, the body was, I don't know where I put that piece, but y'all saw how big it was when we took it apart. Here it is. So, it was just way too big for this. Or I would have put the whole thing on here. Because I love anything that's grapevine, jute. I just love that material. So that's all. I was distressing some wood pieces and rubbed a wet paper towel over it afterwards, and it blends and wasn't so stark. Yeah, damp, not wet. Um, yeah, it's drying a little bit more now, so I like that. I think I just it I just made it too streaky. Where if I would have distressed it when nothing was on it. So what I did was I just put the moss over that, so it just kind of looks toned and stretch, you know, but not the same. I'm loving these, y'all. I wish I'd used them more often, but you saw it kind of takes a little time, but it really just gives it that good little border. And we used what, um, probably one and a half on it, or, or maybe just a few, you know, five more than one and a half. So still, you know, not a lot, but it took a long time. All right, so let's see, let's work on our, Thing. And all I'm going to do is just do one little loop here, like the hanger, and you know, instead of like putting it on both sides, you know, because it has this one, it's more tagged, has the, the loop in it. So that's what we're going to do with that. And this is probably going to be the most aggravating part because I love keeping beads on these strings. If you have it, keep them on it, and then you can keep all your beads together. Even if you like right now, I'm going to take a bunch of colors off of it and I'm going to restring it on here so I can keep them together. Let me, let me kind of guesstimate on how many I think I'm gonna need. I just want it to be not even that many. So I think I'm only gonna need maybe two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. 12, and I'm using three different colors, so, um, uh, I'll need three different colors, four of each. All right. And this one's got a cute little tassel you can lean on in, but I usually don't use the shiny little tassels. I'll probably keep it, but okay, so we need one, two, three, we need four of each, so I'm gonna have to cut it. Cut it about. Well, hold on. I'll just cut it down here on the end. Very first one. Okay, yeah, I'm talking to myself. I'm trying to do that math in my head we were talking about. Okay, oh, it's got a knot right on the end, so it's going to be hard to string back on here. Okay, so here's two of those. Three. gonna put it back together damp not wet I have some grapevine bunny just a little smaller and needed an idea good where'd you find them I haven't looked too hard but I was really crossing my fingers when the Dollar Tree had these really cute little hearts behind me you can't see anymore because I moved the camera for Valentine's Day and I was like wouldn't it be cute if they had bunny even if they would have did like little chicks or something Okay, y'all, I'm just putting these and you can move that so you can see back on here. Sweetest, uh, Sweetly Simple. Where is Sweetly Simple? Is that like a store you got your beaded at? Okay. All right, so did I put them all back on here? Nope, there's a purple one and there's a yellow one. I'm just going to, I got my four and everything else to put back together. Um, what looks great. Dollarama. Oh, that's where you got your grape. I don't even know what the Dollarama is. I don't have one of those. 
I'm jealous. Uh, they have them at Walmart, but they were ten dollars a piece. This one, this one that I got right here was ten dollars, but remember I got forty percent off, so I paid six dollars for it. All right, so we can put this back down here, y'all. I'm loving these beads that are already painted. I haven't seen any because I love to paint them like this. Even if you do just a subtle color and run them down your table for on you know, your tablescapes, it's really pretty. Okay, now this we may have to take more off. Let's see where it's connected. It's got to have a knot on this one too somewhere. I think it's gonna be right there. All right, where? Nope, there it is. Okay, we need this pink one. All right, so we need four. So that's two, three, Woo. Just think, you know, I'll have like the yellow ones come fall or something for the summer, the orange ones, green. You green, you could do something for shamrock. I mean, just don't look at it like it, like what it is. <laughs> Think about what you can do when you break it down. Because I'm just, Chris is in here. We, we didn't eat supper, did we? Because, um, Chris, I'm always saving you money, aren't I? Oh, yeah. They were telling me about sales today at Hobby Lobby that was 75% off of their ribbon. Look how much money I saved you. <laughs> Did you hear him? He goes, look how much I saved. That's what I tell him. I come in and um, I'm like, look what I saved you. All this crap. <laughs> you hear him saying all this crap. Uh, oh, y'all hear him? He said, as long as you're happy, what do you want? <laughs> I want to get a good night's sleep. I'm not asking you to do anything tomorrow. That's your kids asking for something. Your oldest. Daddy, come move me, but can you be gone by 4 o'clock? Because I have company company. <laughs> Only my kids would do that. Oh, where did you find the big grapevine bunny? At Hobby Lobby. He was $9.99, but you know how they either do 40% off or 50% off. Wait, do they have those sales? But I think he was 40% off, so I think I paid $6 for him. But in my mind, how I'm thinking is, you know, I made this project, so that's, we're going to say we used $5 worth of him because, you know, I still got this other grapevine little part. And, you know, I almost think, you know, it's Easter, and I have not made anything with a cross on it. Or um, I'm thinking it all, what I have left, even though now I don't know what it, it almost looks like a crown of thorns make a really good project you know like he is risen or something you know almost like a crown of thorns be really pretty so i'm kind of thinking we didn't use the whole as i sling it over here look at <laughs> i'm so i just don't think y'all i don't think um um, I'll, I'm, so I'm thinking, you know, we use $5 worth of it and then, you know, a dollar for this, dollar and a half for this, this kind of bows, you know, I didn't even use out of the 94 cent, I probably didn't use 10 cent out of them. So you got a great project here that might've cost you seven or $8 and think all the fun we had while we were making it. That's the best part. Okay. I bought this white out cause I was thinking you would not see the white as much in between as you would the jute, but let's see. No, because I don't have any white in mine and I wanna knot the ends. I may wanna do a knot. So let's just get old faithful out. Our jute. These are my my best little piece of y'all and look how I'm down to it. I started off when it was like this. Um, you get them for like $2 and something or $3 or something at Walmart, but you know, you can get jute anywhere. Okay, let me see. I think I may just alternate on these colors. But I think I want to go like kind of an ombre color. So let's do our light first. 
and then we'll go like whatever that like peachy color is to the hot pink. I have a beautiful tablescape for my table. Oh, it's round. Oh, I bet that would be pretty. Hey, from Mississippi. I think I heard someone say a few weeks ago that Conway, South Carolina is going to get a dollar -um downtown. I see, I don't even know what a dollar -um is. I wish if it's pretty cool, I wish I had it. I just got on Hey from Kansas City. We're just talking about what is there to do in Kansas City? Carrie. We're just talking about traveling all over the country and how we want to see our own country and the things we want to see and the things that are beautiful in our area. Kansas City. Kansas City has something. Is it? Is there any kind of hall of fame? Kansas City has something. I'm trying to think of what it is. Um, just got on him again. Uh, such wonderful company you ladies are. Thank you, Shannon. That's so sweet. Thank you for the heart. Somebody found the hearts. Yeah, what else do we have to do on a Friday night? I have nothing else to do. But craft and have a good time talking about my own country and what I want to see. And y'all give me such great ideas. I'm telling you, I'm going to see my own country. If it's the last thing I do. Oh, gosh, y'all. Aren't those colors pretty? And, you know, I'm not one to the pretty. And just looking at it on here, but when you take in the bow with the top, that's going to be really cute. You know, I have to subtly bring those colors in there. You know how weird I am about color. I'm more of a neutral person, but I like this. A shamrock, like I have a, I have a grapevine that I bought at, at Hobby Lobby, the same thing like this, but it's in shape of a shamrock. So it's wider and, you know, and longer. So I couldn't put on some of it, but this color right here would be really pretty for St. Patrick's Day. You know, it's on the subtle side. Um, barbecue. Oh, yeah, I have barbecue there. Oh, girl, I can eat now. We hadn't even top uh, all we've talked about is eating lobster in maine but we hadn't even really gotten on the food uh such one kind of um, it's the same as dollar tree oh okay i agree shannon um hey judy um okay Biloxi. barbecue i think no rum is canada's version of oh okay dollar tree uh, hey, from, what's MS, y'all? Minnesota? No, Minnesota, no, that's Maine is MI. Maybe it's Minnesota. Um, matches the bow so well. It does. I mean, how lucky do we get? Did it, I don't even think my ribbon would have matched it that much. I see other people post different places, I think, so they're with the, okay. Laugh out loud, I always say color scares me. Ha ha, that's very pretty. Yeah, if anything, I like, even I like a lime green with a pink for Easter. I think it's really pretty. If I can take an Easter color, this would be it. Um, but, um, yeah, chalk paint makes anything. Oh, okay, Mississippi is MS. Um, Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S -I -I. Remember when you had to learn how to spell things like that? And it was a song when you were growing up. I missed this project. I've been keeping grandbabies tonight. Well, Judy, you can go back and watch the replay because grandbabies are so much better than uh, our projects. And I think I'm just going to tie me. I'm always saying I'm going to tie a knot. I just don't like it when the little, uh, the beads separate. So let me... Tie a knot on this end. I'll probably have to double knot it, yeah. Even if I put a little... Um, now, this is just a me pet peeve weird thing, so you don't have to. I hate it when you when I make a hanger and the bead separates. <laughs> I mean, like, you know what I mean? It starts... I mean, the, the, the rope starts or jeep starts showing. It just... I'd rather it, you know, stay pretty tight, so... I'm a, I tied a knot and then I just stuck a little piece of glue on it. So when, you know, when I put it in my little ball, you know, it won't separate. And when you hang it, like, it's all right if you see a little bit of rope, but you know, sometimes they just, they're, they're really like this. I'll tell you, this is my pet peeve. It's like when you hang something up and it separates that much and you see this string, I can't stand that. I love the colors. I wouldn't have thought of it. No. 
uh, I really thought, I was thinking, you know, like what colors could I take? And I was like this. And then I was like, there's no way even I could put this up. It wouldn't match anything in my house. And, you know, I, I'm like thinking, you know, I'm trying to get into like all these holidays. So, you know, I'm all, but this I can get into. I mean, it's, it's on the, it's in the gray family. You know, it's still in the green family too. But that's just what my stuff is. Is more in the farmhouse shades of this than um than like a a lime green. Even though, like I said, I really like a lime green and um pink together. MS is Mississippi. I love the color. Okay. Did you have the tag board from Christmas? No, Connie, I'll show you. Give me just a second to finish tying this and I'll show you. This is actually from uh, Valentine's Day, but uh, 4th of July had them last year, so don't think it's something you have to wait. Um, the USA, it had like USA down them and some stars on them, but, and I want to say it might have been a little bit bigger than this. Um, but just keep on the lookout, especially when you see pieces like this in the dollar store. Grab three or four of them. Um, you know, or, or grab two, especially if they have them, you know, in multiple hots. Or, you know, grab two and one. Sometimes, you know, I don't, I never, like, buy all of everything. Like, if I, if I go to another Dollar Tree, I may grab two more. Um, just because everybody's crafting and they do run out. Um, but, uh, and keep them because I didn't use, I don't, no, Valentine's Day we did. And I still have it up. We did use it for Valentine's Day. We made this, if y'all remember. This is the side, which I guess it has a bicycle and this one has a truck. And we made this with it, which I'm keeping up all the time because even though it's an XO, it really doesn't look like Valentine's. I love it, it's on my mantle. Well, I might not love it anymore after I break it. I did, look y'all, I dropped it. Hold on, I dropped my little, oh no I didn't. Okay. <laughs> uh, but, and this one has a truck on the back, but, you know, I, I want to say when I got this one, I had one more. I'll keep it. Um, and if like, uh, they have some more for, um, uh, 4th of July, I'll grab a couple more because this is something that's popular now. So even if you, um, did a season on it, there's some, just some things that you want to grab two or three of them, even if you don't do anything for Valentine's Day with them at all, you know, you know you're going to want to make something like, you know, this. It's just a good background, and it's only a dollar. And it's actually a wooden piece, too. Um, Valentine's Day tag, MS, MI is Michigan. Well, what's Maine? MA? I thought MI was Maine. Psh, God, y'all, I'm all messed up. Uh, lime green... Servo green is the color of the walls in my son's bedroom. Um, okay. All right, now that I've finished, you know, breaking my stuff, and M-E is mine. Okay. Thank you, Jan. Can y'all just, can, I need to go back to school. Okay. Normally, maybe I would come up and tie a little knot, but see, it, it would bring in two different kind of Judy color and that. So, I think I'm actually, this time, going to go from front to back. Uh, let's see. Maybe I won't make that commitment until I see it. Because I think going from back to front, you could let the bead drop if you didn't want to use it as a hanger, if you just wanted to use it for line, lean to, and you wouldn't see it. Because see here, if you decide to do a lean to, see it's going to fall forward. And that kind of really is not going to make any sense what it is. But if you wanted to hang it, I think that's cuter with it being in the front than the back. But, you know, I don't know what I'll hang it on. So let me see if I can, t I may have to do it from the front to the back and glue it up. Sometimes I'll do that. Like put a little glue on the ribbon where it'll stay standing up. Hold on, I'll show you what I mean. Um, okay, it's in the front to the back but I don't pull it all the way there. See, I leave a little room and you can either just glue it or you can take a little bit of ribbon. I don't have a piece of ribbon up here to show you, I don't think, and just glue it down. And that way 
it'll, it kind of holds right there and it'll just stay standing up or you don't have to do that at all. And you can just tie the knot here and it'll fall when you're not hanging up. So it'll just be a lean to like this or you can hang it and then you would see it. I still think I left too much room up there, don't y'all? All right, so let me see. I'm gonna tie my knot. I mean, it's just your preference on how you, you know, if you don't worry about it, tie it in the front. I'm just trying to think of where am I gonna hang this? I always like to make hanging things, but I don't know, I ever hang them. My kitchen is the color you have your tag itself, that moss color, I love that. Okay, we'll just let that. Okay. All right, so here we go. And I am gonna glue it up. And then, I'm trying to think, do I have a loose piece of ribbon up here that I'm not using? I've got this that was on this carrot. It just helps to have something else to grab onto. Ooh, let me do two. Or the hot glue to grab onto. from Michigan. E-M-E is Maine. M-A is Massachusetts. <sighs> M. You got one G for Georgia. <laughs> it's the easiest one. Isn't that kind of lazy of me, though? To not know that. Oh. Chris, you're looking so forward to moving tomorrow, aren't you? It's your favorite thing. <laughs> he said, can't wait. Uh, you know, we thought after college, every year she would move to a new place. Well, the last two years, she stayed in the same place. But, um, but no, we were not done. Since college, she's moved twice. It looks like egg. He said, if you think this is the last one, I'm not moving her this time. She was dying to live in Atlanta, you know, where she got her big girl job. Then, and she finished a graduate school, and then... She um, decided she did not like Atlanta, especially when she started being able to work from home. Um, so now she can live anywhere she wants to. You can add a couple of beads on the front, on the jute ends, would fill that up a little bit. Yeah, I feel like they were, they were bigger, but yeah, I could do that. Hold on. My glue gun is starting to heal, so it's not um, heal starting to heat a little bit. Oh my gosh, my glue gun is cutting off. I don't know what I'm thinking. So it's not as hot. Ugh. It's Friday, thank goodness it's Friday. Okay, so let me give that a little second and then I'll show it to you. Yes, cause it's batteries all. But I like it, I really, really like it. On front, you can add it. It's cute, so cute. Love those colors. They got a green is my favorite color. Where is Neely moving to? Terry, she's moving to back to Athens. You know, she graduated from school and went to graduate school at uh, Georgia Tech and got her first job there. Well, because of COVID, they've worked from home and they've just, they've given up their office space, so she'll always work from home. Um, not always, but you know what I mean? Like now she doesn't have to report back, so she doesn't have to live in Atlanta, where she now cannot stand. I told her the traffic. You come from little podunk town, Waynesboro, which Athens isn't, you know, it's a big city, but it's not, you know, as big as Atlanta. I was like, you're gonna hate this traffic, and she hated it. So now that they've told them like before Christmas that they did not have to report back in the office, they would con continue to work you know, from home, they're, they're computer coders and crap, so they do everything on the computer. Um, now she wants to move to Athens, so she's getting her first apartment by herself, 
because she just rented a room for my nephew in Atlanta. You know, it's so expensive to live up there. That's the only thing she could. So now she's getting her own big girl apartment. So she's moving back to Atlanta. And I'm not moving again. So I told her, I said, I'll come up there and, you know, help you, like, when you getting everything out of the box and everything. But, you know, I'm not moving. Love them, bless them, but... Uh -uh. <laughs> so that's what we're doing tomorrow. Well, her daddy, you know, he's, I'll come up there and move you. So he's moving her. Oh, and see, it's going to stay up. But look at that bow and the little things together. And y'all, that's just ragged um, material. And it happened to match these colors really, really well. Because I was just going to use the light color. But then I, I thought, well, they've got a darker one on the other one. But they actually had two shades on the darker one. So I think it's going to be so cute. Hanging on the wall. Or if you just want to set it up. See, now that, <laughs> no, that kind of looks weird, but it'll, you can see the color. But I actually, all I have to do is just kind of break the, and it would just fall back here. So if you didn't have it. But remember, if you do just want to set it somewhere else, this would aggravate me not being painted on the back. So probably before I put it somewhere permanently, I probably will paint the back. Just because, you know, if you ever just wanted to hang it somewhere, you know, like on a wreath stand. Like when I have like these wreath stands and you hang something on those. I mean, it may kind of turn to the side or somebody walks behind it. I just, I don't want them to see, you know, like what is that on the other side? Oh, thank y'all for the hearts. That's so sweet. I do. I really love these colors. I'm a little scared of color, but I think I can take one. And like I said, it was total accident that that, um, the, the rag material matched the, the beads so well, especially the three colors that we picked out. So yeah, it's won't fall back a little bit, but it's okay. But I will hang it up and take a picture of it and let you see it. And um, I probably won't see y'all tomorrow because I'm sure when I get home tomorrow, which won't be very late, I will be kind of moved. And Judy, don't give me broken hearts. <laughs> um, uh, I probably will not feel, feel like, you know, y'all probably wouldn't even want to see me, which Lord, I've two, one yard week and then the, and then the night is my hat night. Probably wouldn't be, uh, no, it is a blessing. Let's see, bless your heart, girl. Help us. <laughs> I love her. And who was it the other day saying they had a bless you heart? Y'all, please pl post your bless your hearts on Sims Crafters. I love that. Everybody messes up. Where did you get the beads from? I got the beads from Hobby Lobby. And they came as like in their garland section, but it is in the Easter section. And they were $9.99, but I'm pretty sure it was 40% off when I was in there that day. It's either 40 or 50 so I either paid 5 or $6 from them. And you see, we didn't even barely... You know, take a take. We only took like four from this whole strand right here, and that's one project. So I mean, these beads will last you a pretty long time. And I and I'm not I'm not I couldn't probably use all of these. I, I'm not a purple person, but um, see, even it has like a real pretty like little green in here. So even if you didn't have the brighter one and you just had the pastel one. You could have, you know, like if you wanted to use more of the, I mean, what is that? Like, a, oh, it's not like a lime green. I can't remember. One of you said what you thought it was like in the color of. Those two colors are on this strand, the, the green and the light. So you could, you know, use that. Um, like I said, the yellow you could use. These will be my would be my hardest ones. I'm not a real big blue person unless like it falls like under beachy things. Um, the this would be like close to that robin's egg green that we talked about, but the purple I'm definitely not a purple person. But these are wooden beads, so I mean you can paint them another color, especially if you use chalk paint. Um, I'm sorry I touched the wrong button. It's okay. You have a safe day. Y'all to enjoy your entertaining us while crafting. I said I needed to bless your heart when I was sewing that little bunny and those tiny legs. All right, yes, please post if you have any bless your heart bunnies on Sims Crafters. I enjoy that. Paint the beads any color you want. Yeah, I mean, I love like, like the green, I know, the yellow, like a summer or something in the fall. 
Um, but the purple ones probably wouldn't be. But you never know. I would not paint them unless I ran out of all the other color beads. And you never know. Something may come wrong. You know, ha Halloween. Maybe not this shade of purple, but put like maybe a little darker shade on it or something. And have something, you know. And these colors, let's see. Kind of the same thing. You got your, like almost like a Kelly green almost on here. Um, this blue and... The I don't know if you could use that blue together. The yellow is a little bit brighter. Yeah, like I said, you'll come across something you'll use them for that you'll be glad that you didn't have to put them on something um, and paint them. <laughs> that is super, super awesome to me. Neon green. Paint the bee. Okay, what are the color of the what is the color of the paint? The color of this paint is moss. Moss the Waverly. In the Waverly paint. A moss chalk paint is this. And then I, we didn't paint anything else. We just antiqued it a little bit. So, I, Sheila, I hope the color, that helped you what you needed. Um, nice job. I love it. Me too. All right. Well, I'll take a picture and uh, let y'all see. And y'all have a good weekend. All right. Bye-bye.